Me gustó trabajar todos juntos. Eso también me gustó a mí. is that even in areas where children and their families were not as physically affected, the psychological impacts were still profound. A disaster such as an earthquake can cause children to feel a loss of their sense of safety and control. Additionally, it can compound stresses that children may already be experiencing, such as domestic or interpersonal stresses, and become overwhelming. Excessive stress can create a syndrome known as complex post-traumatic stress disorder, which is a result of cumulative stress rather than a response to one single traumatic event. It is often triggered by the addition of a new stressor, such as a death in the family or a natural disaster. Children are at greater risk for anxiety and depression and may exhibit difficulty concentrating, behavioral problems, outbursts, withdrawal, or physical complaints with no medical basis. Complex PTSD develops over several months, and that is why it was important at this time to attempt an intervention. <laughs> Weekly 90-minute art therapy sessions were instituted at two schools grades 3, 5, and 6 at Nuestro Mundo in Quillota, and grades 3, 4, and 5 at Abel Guerrero Aguirre in San Pedro. The sessions incorporated soothing music and simple stretching and breathing exercises to teach children ways to calm themselves and to cope with stress. Then the art activity was explained, but given only as a suggestion, with children always having the opportunity to create anything else of their choosing. A la derecha, afuera. La última. Y suelte los brazos. Una sesión de arte terapia es diferente a un clase de arte. Es diferente porque los niños An art therapy session is very different from an art class. Children are encouraged to work together, to share and to create whatever they feel like doing in a free and supportive environment. Certainly, it's more difficult to create this atmosphere in a class of 30 to 35 students, but we wanted as many children as possible to have access to this program. Children cope with stress in different ways. And it's not only the ones who act out and are easily identifiable that may need extra support. Al stress de diferentes modos y no son solo los niños que exhiben problemas de comportamiento que necesitan más apoyo. The program 
was modeled after guidelines offered by the International Child Art Foundation, based in Washington, D.C., which has worked with children in disasters like the tsunami, Hurricane Katrina, and earthquakes in countries around the world. Research has demonstrated that art is one of the most effective treatment modalities for stress. Traumatic memories are stored as images in the brain, and often words are inaccessible. Drawing can allow children to gain symbolic control over events or experiences that may be confusing or frightening. Creating art helps to facilitate communication and encourage dialogue. However, the very process of making art is therapeutic in and of itself. Some children become concerned about trying to draw something perfectly, but we try to stress to them that the process is much more important than the product. One activity involves showing children surrealist paintings by Pablo Picasso and Marc Chagall. They were encouraged to draw something from their imaginations, outside of reality, using shapes or distortions or new uses of color. While children are typically very representational in their art, this activity helped encourage them to break out of trying to render something from reality and instead experiment. Another activity addressed their responses to the news that the 33 trapped miners had been found alive. They spoke of their own reactions to the news and those of their families, and were encouraged to think about other experiences they had had that were emotionally charged with anxiety, fear, joy, or relief. Some children enjoyed collaboration, while others preferred to work quietly alone. During the class, the facilitators would walk around the room and talk to the children about what they were creating. The key in art therapy is to offer encouragement and support without trying to over-interpret the child's work. It is important that children feel that they can create whatever comes to them without judgment or need for explanation. Often they don't know why they drew what they did. Making objective comments about their work conveys that you are seeing what they are communicating through images and is validating. Some children volunteered to share at the end of class and wanted to explain their work, while others appreciated just having it observed. There is a growing awareness of the benefits of art therapy and its use in education. Patricio Torres, the principal at Abel Guerrero Aguirre, pioneered a program at his school in March of this year. His goal is to create a school that is a community of learning, both for the teachers and the students. And for this reason, he encouraged the teachers to participate as well. He noted that there was some skepticism at first, but in the end, the results spoke for themselves. Se manifiesta claramente que hay it's very clear that there are positive results. That is to say, in certain cases where we had, for example, observed a, a lack of control or a disorderly way of, of expressing those negative feelings, which all people legitimately experience, now there are children who are calmer about expressing their anxieties or their complaints. They've made progress with regard to how they express their emotions, but this is a work in progress which has seen some success in a few short months. 
when we're talking about March until the present. It's very encouraging. Desde marzo hasta ahora eh, es bastante alentador, ¿ya? Porque como te digo. Paulina Jara is the art therapist who works at Abel Guerrero Aguirre, conducting weekly sessions with four to six students. It's important because the children have different kinds of problems, particularly emotional ones that result in forms of conduct which are inappropriate within the classroom. The majority are children who have that kind of problem, and others exhibit other kinds of problems apart from the emotional, for example, attention deficit disorder, hyperactivity, or they have some other kind of disorder. And it's important that they learn to see this in themselves, and it's in this way that art therapy is most valuable for them. Children expressed feeling more relaxed when creating art and looked forward to the sessions. Even children who were identified at the beginning as having behavioral issues were able to sit quietly and work with the materials. Some children spontaneously started talking about the earthquake, and others relayed stressors from domestic or interpersonal sources. Children have more and more sources of stress and fewer methods of coping. The goal of our therapy is to address both of those issues. With the support of Mayor Luis Meya, there are plans to expand the program in art therapy to include more public schools in Kyoto. It is a simple but effective intervention that can contribute to health and help prevent problems in the future. Kind of